you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Did you have a relationship with the Jacker? I'm sure you did. Yeah, for sure. Like, can you um, speak on that, please? Jacker, his his uncle that raised him it got a baby with my sister. And I just, yeah. so I got my nephew that looked like he damn, he related to me and Jacker. And it's just yeah. like funny to see him growing up. And that's just one angle of it. And then me and Jack had just had our own relationship. We went to the Super Bowl and was around in San Diego together. And just, I used to, he, he when I first got him in the studio to get on my album, mind you, I used to listen to that when I was in prison. I, music yeah. by mail, I would order that music. And anyone that was from Pittsburgh, I ordered their music. And I was just a fan of local. Like, I was proud of my hometown. So I used to listen to all that shit. And then when I got out, I wanted to do an album with everybody that was from my side, my section that was putting on for, for the P. Yeah. So I, when I got Jackie in the studio the first time, like when the session was over, I had some, some people that was putting money behind my project. And I tried to, I pulled them outside after we was done with the song. I came up to him and was like, man, let me give you this money. It was probably like three, $400 or something, something light. I was like, bro, here, this for that verse. And he was like, I can't charge you for that, bro. Like, I'm, I, I fuck with you. I want to see you come up. And I was just like, coming from prison, being in prison for so long, and you can't even get a, a cigarette or a cup of coffee for free in that motherfucker. Everything got a string attached. Yeah. So how bro treated me so, like, <clears throat> so so like genuine, like he wanted to see me come up. It just, he he like uh, had a, always had a soft spot in my heart for him, like yeah. because of how he always interacted with me face to face. So we would go eat. It, I hop at four in the morning, drunk, and do all kind of shit. Pull up on each other, grab weed, and we yeah. had some. I grab vice versa. We always had a good relationship, and that's how I did so many songs with him early on in my career. We did a bunch of songs, and I'd be on his album. I go to his studio. He come to my studio sessions. And yeah. We sit in, and it it, it, that, it was just a uh, like how me and Lab was just effortless. It was the same thing with me and Jack. It was good yeah. effortless, man. He was yeah. a real good dude. And I just got along with him from the, off the top. Yeah. So I, even when I was going through it with other dudes, like me and Jack used to talk on the phone a lot. He used to call yeah. me a lot and be like, "Wax, and then, hey, man, it's gotta be Wax. We can fix this. You too dope, man. I, I, I just, you got me in a right, in, in a real tricky situation with all this shit. And I, I got it, but at the time, I was just more concerned with the streets. Like all I. Yeah knew was right what's right and wrong from about in the street side of things. And yeah. I felt like rap had to follow suit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but I was I wasn't just looking at it like being like egotistical either. I was like, man, we like we much as I was young, I was aware of the fact that all the youth that was under us and the people younger than us was gonna be influenced by the decisions we made going forward. Yeah. And I also was aware of the fact that when I was young, I, like when I dove into gang banging and all my knucklehead shit when I was young and selling dope, I was listening to rap music and I was impressionable enough to think that everybody rapping about this shit is like doing this shit. Like yeah. if you rapping about gang banging and selling dope or something, you must really be doing that shit or else somebody on your side gonna expose you and you're gonna, you're gonna go out like Millie Vanilli or somebody, they gonna take your awards and everybody gonna expose you. Yeah. So I, I, I was just naive when I was a kid to think that everybody rapping was really about that shit. I wasn't, yeah. I had no idea that it, really? it was people not lying true. on it. Not true yeah. at all. Not true at all. So all them things like had uh, factored into me doing diss records and saying when I said like Jack could choose a side on some street shit or your rap shit, like in the records I said when I was, doing it like I ain't never just diss him in no records but I said things that like straight up put friction on our relationship you know what I mean yeah